picking it out. How did the Happy Gilmore thing come about? Because mm, 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 mm. I know, especially probably people my age, I'm 37 right now, okay. almost 38. That's a lot of people know you from that too. Oh gosh, more than you can imagine. Yeah. And I, I only, only slightly facetiously say, well, no, it's not even facetious. It is the gift that keeps on giving because it's connected me across two and sometimes now three generations uh, because it's so popular with young people. Uh, and every generation that comes up, it seems to be passed down. Uh, we taped that in 1996 and filmed it uh, in, in Vancouver, uh, up near Whistler. Uh, I got a call from my agent, Bob Rosen, and he said, uh, there, there's, a, there's a part in this movie starring Adam Sandler, and uh, I've gotten you a, a, a you're, you're the guy that they want to use. Well, okay. So I flew to, I flew to Vancouver on a, I don't remember now what day of the week. Uh, the next morning they picked me up uh, at the hotel and took me to the site. Now where we, they shot all of the, of the actual golf scenes on the, the, the golf course in Whistler. My scenes were shot in Vancouver. They had rented an empty hospital. Uh, and in and, and the backyard, they had set up a golf set. Golf set. Uh, the director was a guy named Dennis Dugan, who also played in the movie. He played the PGA chair. Uh, yeah. uh, and Sandler was there, of course. And, and uh, uh, I showed up at seven in the morning. They had took me to make up, you know, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. I had a chair with my name on it. I thought, well, this is a nice way to live. Holy <laughs> cow. And, and then uh, the director said uh, to this really handsome guy that was standing on the fringe of the, of the group, he said, Jack, his name was Jack Jaraputo. He said, let's do an inside joke just for us. And nobody else in the world will know what it's all about. But I want you to go over there, makeup and hair, and get a coat and a, and a nice uh, shirt and tie. And you're going to sit next to Vern in every scene. But you can't say a word because you're not a member of the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> so that's Jack who sits there and just nods. <laughs> it turns out that Jack Jaraputo was Adam Sandler's roommate at New York University Film School. Oh, wow. And that's why he was there. And uh, subsequently, I've seen Jack's name as executive producer, a lot of Adam Sandler's films, but uh, they hired 400 extras and they, they set the set up, uh, whatever they call it, golf, there's a takeoff on the golf network. And that's where, you know, uh, the line that gets everybody for whatever reason, uh, when I put my hand over the mic and said, who the hell is happy Gilmore? Yeah. And Jack just kind of shrugged, and uh, that one gets him every time. And I'm not sure. Now, they did fly us out to Los Angeles for the world premiere of Happy Gilmore. And it was a kick. I mean, we, Nancy and I, walked in a red carpet. We, 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 uh, we sat down, and when that line came up in the movie, everybody laughed, and I thought, well, this is a really good, uh, good dose of satisfaction to hear your not your line get yeah. off like that. And one more story about it, and and of course it's in, it's it's played once a month on USA cable. I, I swear, and it just keeps getting passed out. I was doing a game in uh, Arizona basketball game with Billy Packer. And we had North Carolina at Arizona. And uh, so North Carolina came in and, and we, Roy Williams was the coach at Carolina. Luke, uh, Luke, Ol Luke Olson was at Arizona. And Billy and I and the producer and director were sitting 
in the practice halfway up because Roy didn't want us down on the sidelines because we could hear him uh, curse out his team. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> after practice, the guys are in post practice, practice, uh, uh, stretching exercise. They're laying on the floor. And uh, this tall kid comes loping up the stands and looks in at our little group. And he said, uh, Mr. Lundquist, the group would like you to come down and say hello to him. Then I said, you mean Billy Packer? And he said, no, they've asked for you. I said, what the heck? So I followed him back down and I'm standing above the prone figure of Tyler Hansborough, six foot, 10 inch all American. And he's got a rope and he's stretching back and he looks up at me and he said, okay, now give us the line from happy Gilmore. <laughs> and I knew exactly what he wanted. So I did the whole, who the hell is happy? And the whole damn team started laughing. <laughs> and uh, I told the guys now, if they did win the national title, I expected to shout out for giving him the motivational speech <laughs> that propelled them forward. Well, they did win the national title, and the ungrateful bastards never said a word. <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> uh, you and uh, having you and Bob Barker in there. Oh uh, yeah. Just, uh, well, genius. Bob Barker was, and then we got to meet him. He was not there when I was, because I was like the last day of shooting, and and uh, but Adam Sandler was there, and, and uh, Carl Weathers was there. The caddy, the long shade, shed. the caddy, yeah. Chris O'Donnell, who played Shooter McGavin. Yeah. They were all there. I've got it in my home in, in the office in Steamboat. I've got a photo of Sandler and the caddy and uh, uh, Chris O'Donnell and the whole group. I um, love to show that one off. 